Oh man, I, I'm excited to see what happens with you on this beer. Hope you like it. Welcome to Brewing Reveal. When I'm on the cheers, internet, cheers. I'm watching Brewing I tried this yet? You're gonna love that. Now this is a good beer. What are you drinking? Red Venture mm. IPA. It's got purple mountains, a green sky, and a yellow sun, and I think it's fun. Oh, 7% ABV. This is the double Dramanatrix Russian Imperial Stout, 15%. These are both Saga Talk. Saga Talk makes incredible IPAs and pale ales. And I'm gonna tell you what, I, this is my kind of beer, so. But I like these IPAs. That's the best friends. These deal. are good. Yeah, and what are we eating today? Today we're feasting on Rayburn's handcrafted Philly cheese steak. Richly seasoned beef and melted American cheese. Comes with the bread, comes with the meat, comes with the cheese. Doesn't come with an air fryer, which is what we use to heat this bad boy up. We'll see if it's any good. Yeah. TBD. Our uh, Mariano's had a lot of different, like Philly cheesesteak full sandwiches in the frozen food aisle. So today the Rayburns one. Yep. All right. Cheers. Cheers. A lot of bread. A lot of bread. More bread than meat, which is sad. So dry. This is a must sauce item. Yep. He's right. That is so much bread. Good bread. It's not bad bread. The meat's pretty good. Yeah, it is. The bread in the air fryer, sometimes a little hesitant because I, sometimes I think it can get a little too hard. It's still like, yes. the crisp isn't bad. Yeah. Like see, now that you get past, you know what it is? These hoagie style rolls yeah. are very intimidating to start. Like once you get past it, then it's like better bites. It evens know? out, yeah, the meat matches the bread a little bit right. better. I am gonna wait for six or sauce. You're right though. Philly cheesesteaks, when you get them, IRL, the juices are a big part of it. Yeah. So it doesn't need a lot of sauce. It keeps it nice and like just succulent and moist. Yep. I bet you're just so disgusted right now. <laughs> but when you get it in yep. a frozen food aisle, you need to add your own S. Yep. That's a fact, my friend. And what better S to add than the number six with cheese S? S squared. Oh, wow. Yeah, baby. That actually makes a pretty good difference. It really does. This is so dry that. You know how in Chicago they love dipping Italian beef just full on in the gravy? This is honestly a sandwich that if you right now gave me some au jus, I'd probably go underwater with it. You are 100% right, and I honest to God never really understood that until this sandwich. Yeah. I was like, why dip? But mm -hmm. now I get it. The flavor is not bad. It really is. I'd never heard of Rayburns. That's gotta be a new company. <laughs> yeah. The middle of the sandwich is good. I'm not mad about this. Mm -mm. Like you said, it's the ends where all the bread is. Mm -hmm. It's overly bready. Mm -hmm. I don't get like a huge Philly cheesesteak flavor. Like I definitely do, but it doesn't compare to like, like I'm Philly's best, obviously. Right. It's like, I don't know. There's like something missing. Maybe it's the onions and stuff. I'm a little confused. But it's not bad. It, it, Why did they put melted American cheese on it? Instead of provolone? Or the, like I understand, if you can't do the cheese whiz, isn't American cheese not ever what's used in Philly cheesesteaks? It's either provolone or the gooey, like, melted the, stadium cheese? Yeah. Right? Like, that's a, that's a, what I'm... Why'd they do American cheese on this? That's weird to me. Because yeah. it's the cheapest, maybe? It's probably their cheapest or mm -hmm. easiest to, like, Use in the froze, but I feel like provolone you could put on the free frozen food. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it is a little, that's a little odd to me too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go find Rayburn, I'm gonna ask him. Hey, Mr. Rayburn, would you mind letting us know the information we require? Hey, what's up with that American cheese, man? He's like, he's I don't like, know, what? I wanted to make a profit, dude. Yeah. Who are you? It saves us six cents a sandwich. What do you I, I have 31,000 subscribers, and you mm -hmm. should answer this question right now. Man, this was actually a little like. Not terrible, though. No, it all held up pretty freaking well. It's uh, intentional. It's a trash. Was it? Huh? It's not terrible. Was the food? The meat's yeah. not that bad. <laughs> food gremlin just came <laughs> and snuck up on me, huffing into my ear. What? what you so he's going. So I, I, my shirt's wrinkly, and she just goes, "Is it trash, bro?" <laughs> Before we go ahead and rate, thumbs up or thumbs down, this Rayburn California Philadelphia cheese set. Let's do a shout out. Cameo shout out. Cameo shout out. Cameo shout out. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Cameo page. If you're not familiar, it's pretty awesome. Just go to cameo.com forward slash number six with cheese. If you want to check our profile out, what Cameo does is allow you to get very specific shout outs, congratulatory messages, happy birthdays, really whatever you want to hear us say. You just send us a little bit of cash. 
we hop on and send you a little video message personalized to you. So maybe you want to surprise one of your loving family members as a number six with Chiefs fan with a birthday message. Yeah. We're your guys. Go on Cameo. Book us. We'll send a birthday message to your loved one. And everyone will be happy. Once again, Cameo.com forward slash number six with Cheese. The only acting gigs we're booking right now. <laughs> That's a fact. So. All right, Cameo has been a lot of fun. Uh, we're really good at vertical video. No big deal. Um, all right, so uh, Eric McCluskey, uh, who's been killing it on SoundCloud, <laughs> drum roll please. Thank you, sir. All right, thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked, you enjoyed. You want the Sixers to go out and buy Rayburn's California Philadelphia cheesesteaks. Oh! I still think it's worth a purchase if you're like, I don't know, really into a Philly cheesesteak. Like, yeah, it's not the greatest, but there's some real, I think for the most part, most frozen food is like straight up bad. So at the very least, this was a tough thumbs up for me. I almost mm. gave it yeah. this. So I'm not gonna say like, this is amazing, but I'll say it's not bad. If you're like eating hungry man meals and you think those are good, then you're gonna think, you might think this is God's gift That's to earth. Well, that point makes complete sense. <laughs> now my thumbs down is moot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I My, the way that I went thumbs down was, there's still better out there. I don't think, like, when you go to the grocery store, I don't know if you guys are like me, I get very little out of the frozen food aisle. Like I'll get a couple things. If I'm trying to get something fun, like you know, me and the girlfriend are drunk on a Saturday and we just gotta throw something in, this wouldn't be something I would get. But if you really like Philly cheesesteaks, yeah, maybe, you know what I mean? There's just so many better like, I just always go to like frozen food to me is like I'm, I'm high or I've been drinking. Yeah. And I want something easy, quick that I can throw in the air fryer. So like, I guess it would kind of work, but there's just better options. Yeah. Guys, we'll see you Monday for a brand new video. Um, obviously thumbs up this video, that helps a lot. Um, this was such a great video. Uh, probably one of the best on YouTube. He's already back on social media, that's how much he's oh, checked out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to watch Dale McPeaks. <laughs> like he's, he's on live on Instagram. Oh, so let's watch that. Watch. We're gonna go watch uh, comedian Dale McPeak on Instagram. Uh, Soggy Talk, thanks for the beers. I love barrel aged beers. Sure. So, I'll have a can drink. You guys hear me? Do the AirPods? Or, so can you hear my music too? Can you tell I'm listening <laughs> a little pumper? <laughs> I left my phone in the kitchen. Just...